Okay, so we've just shot a little buck and it's took off like a steam train. It's been shot probably quite well. There's a good spurt of blood where the strike site was. Now, if you look closely at the blood, it's actually pink and frothy. It's quite bright, lots of bubbles, so that's probably a lung hit. Okay, but if you look at the blood, the blood's scattered all the way along and it's going that way where it ran. So we'll go and find more signs of blood trail and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so the deer's made it all the way back to the fence and we've got lots of blood scattered about on the material. Let's hop the fence and then on the tree there's more blood. So it's gone off the inside of that tree and continued up through that gap. So we're going to have a look for a wee bit more blood. Okay, so we're about 25 metres in and he's brushed against these ferns and there's some cracking blood trail still in the same direction leading up through into there. So he's going that way, we'll see if we can find some more. Now he's gone a long way, we're about 45 metres and he's come all the way up through there. Quite a distance, he's doing well but he can't be much further. So if we track along, there's very few blood spots but as soon as he brushes by something at height we've got a lovely bit of blood there. So with that on there and the hair He's in a bad way, he's not doing so well, so he can't be much further now. But I can't see him within, ooh, at least 20 metres, so he's gone quite far. There's more, more blood just on there, so he's gone through that gap. I'll follow up and see what we can find. Okay, now we're quite far in now, we're getting on about 50, 55 metres. But uh, we've got quite a blood splat here, and there's actually lung material, okay, on the side of the tree. So this guy's about fucked. Um, with those spots the way that's been spat out and at the height okay it's, it's pretty much a mid-long shot and uh, with it being splattered out like that he's really struggling he's really jumping and trying to to lounge on so he can't be much further now but he can only have gone this way but we can't quite see him so he won't be much further definitely with that blood so we'll go and find him okay so we've just spotted him and we've got big spots of blood here okay big big spots he's been bleeding hard and there he is just there and we're pretty sure he's dead, because he's definitely not moving, and the amount of blood that's come out, he's bled out. But, if we look out, back in the woodland, this little guy's come a long way into the wood. And he's never really changed the angle from where he's come from. He's done about 60, 65 metres back from where he was shot. And uh, that's pretty impressive for, uh, well, what is a young buck. But sometimes you just got to persevere, and if you can't get the deer within about half an hour, do go and get a dog. Dog will have gone straight to that in 30 seconds tops. So sometimes it's a bit easier than getting on your hands and knees and trying to follow a blood trail. Okay, so here's where deer fell. And of course, touch the eyeball with the stick. Make sure it's dead. And then you can have a wee look at the beastie. Now, that's a pretty square on long shot, that. And it's a 3 weight we shot him with, so the hole on the other side is going to be impressive. And... Oh yeah, that's quite decent. So the question is, how did it run so far? And it's all because all four legs were in play. If you take out the two front legs, they're going to go nowhere. But uh, that little guy had all his legs and a bit of adrenaline after getting chased with a buck. So he did no bad to get this far. But uh, that's quite a big chunk of lung. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing wee tough beasties. There we go. How do we do a posing picture? That's the way to do it.